This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 17 and verse 17. A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth in sincerity. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kudash, Brakdam, Tizukonium, Wakim Wakwaf. You know your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopefully elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, given diligence, make your calling and your election sure. And of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord, and our Savior, and our King, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, in these last days, in these perilous times that we are living in. This is Brother Peshai, Bon Yash Allah, be a quick lesson through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, on faithful friends in the midst of tribute. Relation, true brotherly love, man. All right. Now, a lot of brothers, you know, um, elders on down have been doing, you know, video lessons through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashimal Shai, the movie that just came out, um, entitled uh, Leave the World Behind. All right. And um, brothers, you know, are basically tackling it from different angles through the spirit. And um, it's something that I heard the Apostle Rambla mention. At the elder out there in Vegas, GMS Vegas sit downs, which I believe the elder name is Karata Zaba, right? Um, told him because basically the ending of the movie, this is spoiler alert, but the ending of the movie, the little girl she found the house, which she was guided to the house by the way of animals, deers, or oh deer to be exact. They guided her to the house, all right, and she basically told her mom, um, a story of you know, um, it's the only time the most I was even mentioned. In the whole movie, all right. But basically, uh, she told her mother a story that a guy, um, that a, and it's like a saying or or something like that. But basically, um, a guy believed in the Most High, always prayed to the Heavenly Father, and the Most High sent him a warning, you know, through the radio that a flood is about to come and destroy, you know, his village or town or something like that. All right, and then he said, "I'm gonna stay because I have faith," something like that. Then uh, uh, when the flood started coming, someone came with a boat and said, hey, get on, man. I'm trying to save you, man. Get on the boat. He said, I don't want to get on the boat. I'm staying here. Then uh, someone with a helicopter came and let the ladder down and said, hey, get on, man. I'm trying to save you. He said, no, I'm staying here. Eventually, that man drowned and died. They got to the spiritual realm and, and it was kind of angry at the most high. He said, hey, I believed in you. I prayed to you all the time. You know, why didn't you save me? He said, listen, I sent you a radio, a boat. I sent you um, a helicopter. He said, what else, he said, what else you want me to do for you, man? You know, what, what else do you want? You know, then she said, I'm tired of waiting. So when she said that in the movie, and she told her mother that story, I automatically remembered how them de the deer kept looking at her. All right. I don't know if the term is deer for plural or deers, but any event, they kept looking at her. And then, you know, one, one other time they was in the woods, her and her brother, they showed her the house. So basically, what, um, I'm going to get to the main point of the lesson but basically um she got guided there by animals man all right so when she got to the house basically um she found a bunker she found in a whole movie she was feeding to finish the last episode of the tv show called friends now i didn't i didn't think nothing of it but like i said the apostle rambla mentioned with the elder karate zaba mentioned um basically how it ended very, you know, weird. Some brothers said they didn't like the ending. Some said it was very strange. I found it interesting. Like, why did it end like this? Right? But it ended with her watching the last episode called The Last One. Right? The Last One. And that's what the episode's called, Of Friends. And the whole, you know, uh, theme of the movie is like, who can you trust in a way? That's what they, they wrote. Like, who can you trust? And in the movie, it shows you friends turning against one another. And things of that nature. Okay? So, the Elder Karatas Abba told the Pastor Rambla, basically, um, how know who your friends are. You know, and that stuck with me. You know, that was going to be the title of this lesson, you know. But, uh, you know, uh, the Spirit helped me to make it the title that it is right now. You know, faithful friends in the midst of tribulation. Because in its truth, you know, the brotherhood, those that fear Yahweh and the Son, Yahweh shall keep the commandments. The best we can, he's like, we're, that's our family. 
Now that's so true friends. You see? So, and you can have people that have been close since they was, for, for man, since they knew each other, since they was in the sandbox. Since they was jits. <laughs> like they say in Florida. Since they was, you know, kids, man. Growing up, basketball, football, soccer, whatever. Skateboarding and back, you know. But then when that time comes, society collapse, they're going to turn on each other. So let's get those precepts. Then we get the ones I want through the spirit. So, um, Lord, let's edifying, uplifting to the brotherhood, man. Yo, we have a lot to look forward to. Look at the book of 2nd Edges, the 6th chapter, verse 22. Let's read it. And it reads, um, it says, And suddenly shall the sown places appear on sown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. So, Another thing about that movie, it showed the perspective of the suburb, you know, the suburban areas, all right, like Long Island, and, you know, it wasn't showing, like, what's happened in the city, you know, so that's another movie in itself, right, but it showed, like, the, 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 uh, the suburban areas, and you had a scene where uh, uh, GH, which is George, and you had um, his friend Danny, right, who they knew each other for all these years, and Danny is like a prepper, always prepping for, you know, that time. Right. He, and he was in the right spirit, I'm going to be honest. He was in the right spirit. George came over there to, to ask for help for the people that were staying at his house. You know, because his, son, his son's teeth, you know, was falling out. You know what I'm saying? Not George's, but, you know, uh, the ones that were staying at his house. The, that father and his, with his wife and his, and his daughter, the daughter got guided by the deer to the bunker. And then the son, the son, his teeth started falling out after they let off that frequency. Of the five, you know, them towers. And they have all of this lined up in reality, in real life. And this was co-produced by the Obamas. All right, Barack and Michael Obama. Okay? Yes, I said Michael, man. All right, not Michelle. But in any event, um, the point I'm getting is this. When he went to ask for help, the dude had a... First, he said, back up, go next to your vehicle. Came up with a, with a shotgun, you know? And he like, yo, what the fuck is... He said, we came to check up on you, man. What's going on? He said, what, what, basically, what do you want? You know, we need help. He said, I can't do it. I'm, I'm looking out for me on my own. He said, he said, Danny, we're friends. He said, but I knew you. He said, I know you, man. You know me. We're friends. He said, you're not. He told him straight up, you're not thinking straight. You're not thinking right, man. He said, that, that, that world is gone. You see? So when society collapse, it's going to be a survival of the fittest. People going to take care of their own, look after their own. So that's what us in this faith and this truth, we have each other as well. So some brothers lot. Maybe to be alone for some time, you know, we, like we had to bear our own cross, you know, like what Allah Yahweh Shah, he, when he went through, he had to do that alone. That's why the apostles and disciples kept falling asleep. All right, it's meant for him to go through that alone. Understand that. All right, so some things may have to go through alone, but remember the brotherhood. You never know the most time you have you go to something alone for a minute, then you end up linking up with brothers, man. And automatically, you know, brothers are going to know, oh, this is brother, okay, you know, Shalom, Yahweh, Bashem, Shah, you know what I'm saying? Brothers are born for this time, for the for adversity. You know, not, they're not gonna be holding the last slice of bread, hiding the canned beans in their pocket, making sure brothers don't get none. You know, I'm hungry. I ain't not nah, because why we have faith in Yahweh Bashi and he's gonna do miraculous things for us. Okay? So let's read this precept because those in the world, those that don't have this hedge, those, the, those that don't have the Holy Spirit, this spirit that they're gonna be in. Second Earth is six and verse, uh, we have verse 23 now. It says, A trumpet shall, shall give a sound. Which when every man hear it, they shall suddenly be afraid. All right. So ultimately, we're blowing our trumpet now. We're sounding the alarm. All right. But when these things start to come to pass, people are going to be petrified when it when it's happening. Verse 24. At that time, society collapsed. At that time, shall friends fight one against another like enemies. You see that one more time. At that time, shall friends fight one against another like enemies. And the earth shall stand in fear with those things that, uh, that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. All right. It says, Whosoever remaineth from all these that I've told thee shall escape and shall see my salvation in the end of your world, which that's the elect going to see the salvation. All right. Because they're going to get delivered in the end of Esau's world. But the point was what? Friends are going to turn on one another, man. That's how bad it's going to be. That's what showed in that movie. All right. So that's the, the reality that's coming very soon because what did Klaus Schwab say? He mentioned that the next thing could be a. a, a, a a major cyber attack that make the C-19 crisis look like something small in comparison. You see that? It, it, like a small disturbance in comparison. You see? 
So, and they showed that in that movie, a cyber attack. So, like I said earlier, spoiler, if you didn't watch it already, I did a lesson. The last lesson I did, you know, I didn't want to spoil none of the movie, but I had precepts in my mind after watching it. But now, you know, Lil Willie, you, you've seen it, but if not, it's still a good watch. Still go watch it, you know what I'm saying? You know, and because uh, it, it has no antagonist, no protagonist, it's, it's no villain, no hero. It's just a teaser of what's about to happen. Literally, the way it ends to it, the way it starts and the way it ends is... It's like they're just showing you what they're planning to do, <laughs> you know, and from the perspective of those that live in the suburbs, man. But the the ending, what the Elder Karate Zaba said, he, what he told the Apostle Ramblov, that's what really, like, helped inspire this lesson further. Because I was planning on doing a lesson, you know, going to some precepts, which I'm going to get that, I'm going to get the scriptures I want in a minute, all right? Because it started now with this brotherly love, you know, true brotherly love, you know, seeing your brother fall and you get him, you get him back up on his feet and things of that nature. You know, so I had this precept I wanted to get, which is the book of Proverbs, um, 27 chapter, right? Proverbs 27 and verse 5 through 6 it says, open rebuke is better than secret love. All right. So we openly rebuke one another. Let, let us know, listen, I, you slip and you're going off. Don't do such a, don't, don't do those things. You know, you could do it like this, you know, brothers look off each other with diet, you know, if you see brother, you know, eating too much, you know, cakes, whatever you, Hey, brother, you know, you know, add some, you know, leaves to your diet, some greenery, you know, brother, you know, look out for yourself. That's brotherly love because you do what you do for brothers like you do for yourself. I'm getting all these scriptures, Lord willing. Verse six, faithful are the wounds of a friend. So it made cut for a minute. Like, man, what are you saying? You trying to fat, brother? You trying to, you trying to eat too much cakes, brother? Faithful are the wounds of a friend. That's faithful wounds, though. You see that? But what? But the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. You see that? Enemy going to pucker you up. Butter you up. Hey, you want more cakes? I could buy you all of this. He's like, oh, thank you, man. You think you're, I ain't your friend. That's your enemy, man. Okay? <laughs> you want to see you get diabetes. All right? And I just, in that, in that scenario, it's more. My fellas, let's, let's get deeper. The truth, man. If someone's seeing you going off and they, and they encouraging you going off, if they see you have a drinking problem, you still, and they just, they pass you bottles. They buy you Patron. They buy you Hennessy and do say. That, that dude is a demon. He's the enemy. Okay, but faithful the wounds of a friend. Hey, brother, you should slow down, brother. You know what I'm saying? And you may not want to hear it at the moment. <laughs> you know what do you mean, slow down? Nah, brother, you should slow down. Stay focused. Stay more in the spirit. You know, starve out the flesh, feed the spirit. Then you, if you in this matter of fact, uh, what did King David say? Um, watch this. In the book of um, I think it's Psalms. Where you at, Salaki? I read this in a minute. Um, Salaki. Yeah. Oh, I know what to type in. Um. All right, Khan. So this is the book of um. Psalm one forty one verse five. Let the righteous smite me; it shall be a kindness. See that? Let the righteous smite me; it shall be a kindness. And let him reprove me; it shall be an excellent oil; it shall not break my head. For yet my prayer also be in their calamities. You see? So that's a kindness. So true brotherly love starts with the faith and the truth where we're building up and um iron sharpening iron, you know, um um building with one another, you know, brothers you out there laboring with week in and week out or all type of you know, in season, not a season, all, and then and doing all elements with one another. You call on the name of Yahweh and the son, Yahweh Shai and truth and, and sincerity together, pushing, battling demons, you see. That's true brotherly love, man. You see? And it's and it's that's what it starts with. So imagine society collapse. That's gonna just trickle on. Cause we know what's going on, man. So we're gonna stick even closer together. Alright? Let's get that precept next now. Alright? So faith for the wounds of a friend. So this true brotherly love and this faith and this truth. Ain't no sugar coating. Alright? Look at Proverbs the 18th chapter. Proverbs 18, I believe it's like verse 24. Yeah, they're sure to the point. Proverbs 18 and 24. A man that have friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. You see? So we may not be, you know, like, same father, same mother. But, man, we have the same father and same mother, if you can receive it, man. You know? Our fathers are Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. All right? Our mothers is uh, Sarah, Rebecca, Leah, Rachel, Bilhah, Zilpah. All right? On down, but more so is the spirit. All right, like a little Yahusha said, "Who is my mother?" Let's get that preset. 
right? It's the book of um, Matthew 12, uh, Matthew chapter 12 and verse 46. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand and toward, toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of my father which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother. That's my family. That's our family. Those in faith and his truth. So, you know, in time of tribulation, we have each other. Don't forget this. That's the point of making this lesson. All right. Like the, um, you know, like the ending of the movie was he was feeding and watched this TV show Friends. You know, and that's what it that's what it can mean. You know? Why do I keep putting friends there? Friends gonna turn in one another, but also so much who can you trust? Who who is your real friend in that time? Is it your next door neighbor or is it brothers you laboring with, man? Brothers that serve you all by Shamel Shai. It could be it could be someone you knew since you was uh, you know, since like I mentioned earlier, since you was a child, man. You know? But it's good to go into them, a lot of our friends are gonna betray us, and that's our friends in the world. They're gonna betray us. All right. So in his faith and his truth, man, we 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 have each other. We got each other's backs. Can we believe in your heart, Bashim Al Shai? Okay. Let's get a few more precepts and I'll be the lesson. None too long. I'm gonna do something straight to the point. Alright. Let's get the book of um I'm gonna read a few of these right here. John 15 and verse 13. Greater love have no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. And I love you how Shai was an ultimate example of that. He laid down his life for his friends, his brothers, man. All right, for his people, you see? So we have to have that same spirit to be willing to die for one another, man, all right? Never giving um, um, each other up, all right? Never betraying one another. Why could we fear Yahweh Bashim al Shai? We see a brother, we see Yahweh Shai, all right? It's a scripture that literally say that, um, I'm willing to go find a precept. Um, where is it at? All right, first John, yeah, first John 4 verse 20. Let's start at verse um, 19. We love him because he first loved us. If a man say, I love the most high, Yahweh, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he see, whom we have whom he have seen, how can he love Yahweh whom he have not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loved Yahweh love his brother. Also, look at Hebrews 13 and verse 1, man. All right? Look at Hebrews 13 and verse 1. Hebrews 13 and 1. Let brotherly love continue, man. Point blank, period, man. You love the Heavenly Father, you got to love your brother. That's right in front of you, man. All right? So faithful friend in the midst of tribulation, man. We're going to have love for one another. All right? Like I mentioned earlier, through the Spirit, you may be alone. You never know your, you know, you know uh, what the most have, have in store personally for you and your walk. When society fully collapsed because it could happen it's gonna happen randomly but we're prepared spiritually so when it happens well, okay it's, this is Jacob trouble all right this you know this this is um the great tribulation all right but the scripture say what he shall be saved out of it let's have faith in that all right we're not gonna be like chickens with a head cut off running around what to do what's going on you know it was my videos but i can't i can't oh what's internet don't work oh no no we gonna know what's going on we gonna know what time it is man all right I, on to the next, the next phase of the ministry. That's it. That's it. We're going to be in the midst of tri tribulation trouble. The Lord going to send angels for brothers and families and sisters, as, as, you know, uh, spiritual power for brothers. Brothers going to be able to, to uh, do all type of miraculous things. You see, that's the next phase of the ministry. He going to deliver us through all the troubles, man. All right. And if you with brothers in the midst of that, that, that true brotherly love. All right. And you're going to have people flocking. You know, if you with, if you with brothers, you gotta be people when you flock into that to your you know to you and, and the brothers you that's that's around you, cause y'all in in that vibration, the spirit of y'all by Shemal Shai, and they're gonna see that these brothers are straight, man. They, you know, let me try to get next to them. You know, uh, let's get a few more precepts, right? Let's get the book of um. So, oh, I mentioned this earlier. Let's go back to Proverbs twenty-seven, right? And uh, sorry, seventeen. It says, iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. You see? Iron sharpeneth iron. All right? So does a man sharpen what? The countenance of his friend. So we build each other up, man. We make each other more sharp in the, in the precepts, you know, sharper in faith, belief, and courage. And you know how about Shai? 
You see? Man, all crazy out by Shemel Shai. Uh, and, you know, a faithful friend is, 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 is rare. Let's get Proverbs 20, verse 6. It says, most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. You see, now let's get the let's get Ecclesiasticus, the sixth chapter. I'm gonna get a few more, then I'll be the lesson, right? Ecclesiasticus, the sixth chapter, the start of verse um. So chapter is good, man. Man. Cause it starts off, you know, going to friends that become, you know, uh enemies and things of that nature. Right? But this is this jump down to the main point when again in, in this chapter. All right? Let's start at verse 13. Right? It says, separate thyself from thine enemies. You see? Separate. And who's your enemies? Those that... Let's watch this. Let's find out who our enemies are. We know it's the nations. We know it's east, so and down. Psalm so 33rd chapter. We know who our enemies are. But even amongst our own people, we have enemies. All right? Uh, let's see if I can find a precept I'm thinking about in the book of... Yep. James 4 and 4. Ye adulterers. And adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High. So if you're a friend with the world, that's our enemies, man. So anyone that's a friend of this world, brothers, remember, they are your enemy. They're potential enemies. They're potential agents. All these things. Don't forget this. Sirach, so Ecclesiastes 6, and verse um, 13 from the top. Separate yourself from the enemy. So separate from the ways of the world. Separate from you know worldly ass people. All right, those are your enemies. They're against the Most High. You can't be around them. You could say your highs and buys, you know. But make make uh, scripture will let thy speech be short. <laughs> you know, comprehend the much. You know, in uh, in few words, very perfect in scripture. You know, be as, be as when I know it. Be a hold of the tongue. Let thy speech be short. You know, so around these dudes, they talking to a folly. You want to rebuke them, you know, but just, you know, be as when I know it, but hold your tongue. But they let, when you do speak, let it be short and get up out of there. You know, we can't be around these dudes, man. So separate yourself from thy enemies and take heed of thy friends. And who's your friend? I mentioned earlier through the spirit, brothers, man. All right. The brotherhood, those that's fearing Yahweh Bashim al All right. Verse 14, a faithful friend is a strong defense. And he that have found such and one have found the treasure. You know, that's that true brotherly love, man. All right. Nothing doth contravail the faithful friend and his excellency is invaluable. A faithful friend is the medicine of life. And they that fear the Lord shall find him. Whoso fears the Lord shall direct his friendship aright. You see, faithful in the wounds of a friend. He that feared the Lord shall direct his friendship aright. For as he is, so shall his neighbor be also so as you are so will your neighbor your brother that's how he'll be also as well through the spirit you know so that was the main um scripture i wanted to get out uh with the lesson right but um what we're gonna do is um get one more then i'll be the lesson through the spirit uh let me find it salakia right um is this what i want no no, no that's not what i want All right salakia um this is, no, all right, let's type this in, Salakia. We're going to find it. Salakia. Right here. So this is John 13 and 34. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, and that ye also love one another, man. All right? So let's read verse 35. But this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if ye have love one to another. So that's how he knows and, you know, disciples of Yahweh Shai. Those have love towards one another, man. You see? So that's the time we're in right now through the Spirit. So with that, let's give all honor, glory, and infinite praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak, Wadash, the honor city apostles and elders of great millstone peace and salutation. See, let's got it abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. With that, I'm going to say Shalom. Wa Baba Ball, Shalom.